The skyline of Frankfurt is packed with gleaming buildings and shimmering lights, and you'll understand why the locals call it Manhattan as soon as you see it. But that isn't the only positive aspect of Germany's banking and economic capital. The magnificent old town transports you back in time with Koi Mobberg's 15th century architecture. If you visit during the Christmas season, you'll be able to see one of Germany's most spectacular Christmas markets. Frankfurt is a very cosmopolitan metropolis, with a population of 5.5 million people giving it a unique vibe and environment in Germany. There's lots to do here both during the day and at night, and with our recommendations, you'll feel like a local while in Frankfurt. In this video, you'll be able to see everything this exciting city has to offer. Wander through the city's historic old town, visit a museum, or dine with high-powered executives at one of the city's premier restaurants. Whatever brings you to Frankfurt, you'll have a great time. Watch our full video of the top tourist attractions in Frankfurt to learn more about the greatest sites to visit along the road. But first, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more fun videos. Let's get this started. Number 1. Koimaburg Koimaburg is an excellent site to begin your journey to Frankfurt. As the heart of the old town, it's the ideal location to get a sense of Frankfurt before the skyscrapers began to rise. The restored timber structures on the square's outskirts transport you to medieval times. The lovely Fountain of Justice is located in the square's center, and markets are frequently held around it. During the winter months, one of Germany's largest and best Christmas markets is held here. If you're in town for one of Germany's greatest Christmas markets, don't miss out on the hot apple wine and marzipan cookies. Throughout the year, though, Koimaburg is a great place to sit and enjoy some delicious traditional fare. The Kuma structures, which have served as the city hall since the 15th century, are worth seeing. The Ostel buildings can be found on the opposite side of the square. Koimaburg is a fantastic area to unwind or simply take in the ambience of Frankfurt's Altstadt. 2. The Mine Tower The Mine Tower is Frankfurt's third tallest tower, with spectacular views of the city and cityscape. In just a few seconds, you can ascend the 200 meters, 56-story tower before taking a walk around the top. Visit between 10 a.m. and 12 p.m. when the tower is at its quietest if you want to grab some fantastic shots without having to push through a crowd. Obviously, going at sunset will give you some spectacular sights and much better photos. You won't be the only one in town with that thought, though. Check out the view from the top to see if you can find the hostel in which you're staying. Apart from taking in the views of Frankfurt from this skyscraper, there are a handful of other activities to add to your itinerary. There's a restaurant and a lounge where you can eat and drink while taking in the breathtaking view. Fitness buffs will be pleased to learn that the Mind Tower houses Europe's highest fitness club. Although we highly recommend the main tower, if you are afraid of heights, it may not be the greatest idea to see this city landmark. 3. Frankfurt Cathedral The Gothic Frankfurt Cathedral is among the city's most stunning structures, and it's well worth taking the time to see it. It is also known as the Kaiser Dom, and was the city's tallest building until the 1950s, when buildings such as the Mine Tower and Commerce Bank Tower surpassed it. This Roman Catholic church was dedicated to St. Bartholomew and served as the site of the Holy Roman Empire's elections and coronations. Learn about the building's history as a symbol of national unification in the 19th century. Climbing to the top of Frankfurt's former highest skyscraper is a terrific way to obtain panoramic views of the city's evocative skyline. If heights aren't your thing and you prefer follow your resolve to keep your feet firmly on the ground while traveling, the cathedral itself has plenty to keep you entertained. Learn why the structure was so important to the Holy Roman Empire and explore the renovated interior after it was devastated by fire in 1867 and bombings during World War II on a guided tour. 4. Eisener Stieg This ancient iron bridge connects Frankfurt city center and the Sachsenhausen neighborhood. Since its construction in 1868, it has been a must-see in Frankfurt. Despite the fact that there are several bridges crossing the Main River, this is the only one dedicated only to pedestrians. Thousands of lovers' locks have been affixed to the bridge, making it an even more unusual and beautiful scene. Because Frankfurt is such a walkable city, you'll see tourists and locals crossing Eisener's Teague in equal numbers. Wouldn't it be nice to add your own locks to the lovers' locks that are already there if you're there with a loved one? It will make a lasting impression on you during your journey. However, it's not simply a terrific setting for couples. Take a walk over the bridge and take in the lovely views of the city and museums as the Mind River runs beneath you. 
Combining a visit to Eisner Teague with a visit to Museum Sufer makes sense. You may see two prominent sites in Frankfurt in one day if you do it this way. 5. Zeil The word Zeil originally refers to a row of homes dating back to the 14th century Frankfurt, which you probably didn't know. This section contains some of Frankfurt's most spectacular buildings, completing my Zeil. It is one of the country's largest shopping and recreational complexes, as well as one of Frankfurt's most popular destinations. There are various designer stores, as well as more budget-friendly options such as H&M and Primark, particularly beneficial if you've overlooked something for your vacation clothing. Of course, you are welcome to shop at Zyl, but there's more to this place than that. Some of the best places to dine in Frankfurt can be found in Zyl, with global cuisines ranging from sushi to tapas. Head to the training studio before you eat to stay up with your fitness routine. My Zyl also houses a branch of the opulent Emirati Hotel Company Jumeirah, allowing you to spend your entire vacation there. 6. Alt Opera The wonderful Alt Opera, one of the most prominent concert halls not only in Germany but throughout Europe, is a must see for every music enthusiast visiting Frankfurt. The music hall was built in 1880, but it was bombed out during World War II, along with much of Frankfurt. The building was restored in the 1970s before reopening in 1981. Every year, it offers a variety of activities ranging from jazz to opera to glitzy balls and international conferences. If you have the means and the time, we strongly advise you to attend a concert during your visit to Frankfurt. It may be a bit pricey, but wouldn't it be impressive to say you've seen world-famous jazz or opera? In one of the world's finest performance halls, you may take a guided tour of alt opera if you merely want to see the sumptuous interiors where the events take place. This tour will also take you to locations that are normally off-limits to concert goers. 7. Meinkai A stretch of parkland runs along both banks of the Main River, landscaped with lawns, flower beds, and pollarded trees. On hot summer days, you'll see families having picnics, and in the nights, you'll see large numbers resting and chatting over beers in the offices. The best photos are taken on the left bank, immediately east of the Museum Sufer. When the skyscrapers on the opposite bank rear up, come by when the sun is setting or when the Bunken Fyrdal is illuminated at night. Meinkai, located just outside of the city center, provides tranquil views of the river and Frankfurt skyline beyond. You'll find several restaurants and cafes with outdoor seating along the river promenade where you may stop for coffee or a meal. The boulevard, which is popular with cyclists and joggers, is a terrific area to work out or simply relax. 8. Frankfurt Zoo, the second oldest zoo in Germany, founded in 1858, is open 365 days a year. The location is a beautiful parkland of 11 hectares to the east of the Innenstadt. It's all home to 4,500 creatures representing more than 500 distinct species. The attraction, like the best zoos, is continually improving, with the addition of Yukumari Land, a fantastic new area for its Andean spectacled bears that looks like a real canyon. The zoo also prioritizes conservation and participates in breeding programs for seven different species. When you visit, make sure to schedule your visit around the various feeding periods, which will allow you to get up close and personal with crocodiles, penguins, and seals. 9. The Hauptwache, literally translated as Main Garden, is famed for its blend of excellent ancient buildings and new constructions. It is located in the heart of Frankfurt and is one of the city's busiest pedestrian districts. The historic Baroque Guard House, after which the plaza is named, is the most significant structure here. It was built in 1730 and previously held the city's militia, a prison, and a police station. It is now a cafe. The square itself is a major shopping district in Frankfurt, featuring a massive underground mall. It also serves as a focal point for the city's main shopping and commercial streets. The pedestrian-friendly Zeil goes east, while Kaiserstrasse extends southwest via the Rossmarkt and Kaiserplatz to the Hauptbahnhof, with its many entertainment options in its side streets. Built in 1888, this is the city's major train station and one of Europe's largest train terminals. 10. Museum Sufer This collection of great museums, centered on the Stadel Museum, may be found on both sides of the Main River. Frankfurt's Museum Embankment is not only one of Germany's, but Europe's most important collections of museums. You can also enter for free. 
making it a perfect destination to visit if you're on a tight budget. Many of the buildings on Nishim Sufer were designed by notable architects and include architecture, film, and Jewish history museums, to name a few. As a result, they look great both inside and out. When visiting Nishim Sufer, many guests start with the Stadel Museum, which houses over 700 years of European art in Germany's oldest art institution. Here you'll find masterpieces by Picasso, Monet, and Rembrandt, among others. After its 200th anniversary, the museum ventured into the digital sphere and included some cool interactive exhibits. The Museum of Communication and the Frankfurt Jewish Museum are two other interesting museums. The Museum Sufer is ideal for culture vultures, 